so hi everyone and today we are going to see how the congestion control is done by the transmission control protocol the congestion is handled by the tcp but before that we should know that what is congestion suppose the sender is sending packet to the receiver and the receiver window capacity is 10 packet it means receiver can receive 10 packets at a time now if sender is able to send 20 packets it will not send 20 packets at a time it will also it will only send 10 packets at a time so that is why we have to consider the receiver window but the receiver window is not only the factor we should look into there are other parameters too for example what if the link can carry only 5 packets at a time so in that case even if the receiver is able to receive 10 packet at a time the because of the link the sender will not be able to send that many packet so that is why that thing is known as the congestion it means that right now the link is congested even if the link is having capacity because of the link is congested there are so many transmission is going on right now on that link the sender will not able to send packet so that is why the congestion is harmful now let's see how the tcp handles the congestion the tcp handles the congestion by three way there is a slow start phase there is a congestion avoidance and there is a congestion detection now let's see these steps one by one in the slow start you can see that there is one sender and there is one receiver in the slow start phase the sender will send packets as many as it can send so in the slow start the sender is assuming that there is no congestion so because there is no congestion sender can send as many packet as it can so it will send one packet it will send two packet it will send four packet all the packet sent will be incremented exponentially so you can see that in the first phase the sender will send one packet after receiving the packet once successfully the sender will send two packet after receiving the acknowledgement for those two packets successfully it will send the four packet after the acknowledgement is received it will send eight packets so that is the reason why the slow start is important in the slow start the sender is assuming that there is no congestion and it is sending as many packet as it can and because of the sender is getting all the acknowledgements it is assuming that there is no congestion because if there is any congestion there will be packet drop or there will be delay after in the slow start after the slow start at particular time the sender will face some delay because sender cannot infinite infinitely send exponential packet after sending some packets the sender will face some delay and when sender receives any delay acknowledgement it will understand that there is a possibility that in the network there is a congestion and when there is a congestion the sender will follow some step the sender will perform some task when there is a congestion so after the slow start the next phase is congestion avoidance in the congestion avoidance phase the sender will avoid the congestion now how it will avoid the congestion in the congestion avoidance sender knows that there is delay sender is facing some delayed acknowledgement it is getting some delayed acknowledgement so from those delayed acknowledgement sender can understand that there is a congestion but the sender will not stop sending any packets if the sender stops sending any packet we will not be able to use link at maximum capacity our purpose is to use the link at maximum capacity at the same time we also want that the packet cannot get dropped so right now when the congestion is detected the congestion is low so still the packet can be sent and received but the delay will be faced by those packets so when the congestion is detected and congestion is not severe still the sender will send the packet but only difference is that now the sender will not send the exponential packet 
in the slow start it was sending exponential packet right now it will not send any exponential packet it will send packet one by one so it will first send four packets after that it will send five packet after receiving acknowledgement of those five packets it will send six packets after receiving acknowledgement for six packets it will send seven packet so you can see that the increment of the packets is one which is different from the slow start in the slow start we were sending packet exponentially but in the congestion avoidance we were sending one by one in the congestion avoidance when the congestion becomes so severe there will be packet drop and when there is a packet drop the sender will stop sending any packet so how the sender detects that there is a severe congestion so when any packet drop is occurred or acknowledgement drop is occurred it will understand that the congestion is severe so it will not sending any packet and it will start from the beacon you can see that this is the graph of the congestion control in the initial stage you can see that the sender will follow the slow start so all the packets will be sent exponentially until the threshold after threshold it will face some delay so during the delay it will send packet but the packets will be incremented by one and after that when the congestion is detected because the capacity of the link or the receiver is exceed so in that case it will start from all over again from the slow start and this is how the tcp handles congestion Thank <laughs> you.